Holy men shed their glorious blood for the Lord. They loved Christ in their life. They imitated him in their death, and therefore they were crowned in triumph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. We come together this morning to celebrate the feast day of St. Denis, the first bishop of Paris, and his companions. And so, brothers and sisters, as we thank God for the witness of their martyrdom, and we ask him for their intercession, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who sent St. Denis and his companions to preach your glory to the nations and strengthen them for their mission with the virtue of constancy and suffering, grant, we pray, that we may imitate them in disdaining prosperity in this world and in being undaunted by any trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry that God did not carry out the evil he threatened against Nineveh. He prayed, I beseech you, Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? This is why I fled at first to Tarshish. I knew that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger, rich in clemency, loath to punish. And now, Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. But the Lord asked, have you reason to be angry? Jonah then left the city for a place to the east of it, where he built himself a hut and waited under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. And when the Lord God provided a gourd plant that grew up over Jonah's head, giving shade that relieved him of any discomfort, Jonah was very happy over the plant. But the next morning at dawn, God sent a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. And when the sun arose, God sent a burning east wind, and the sun beat upon Jonah's head till he became faint. Then Jonah asked for death, saying, I would be better off dead than alive. But God said to Jonah, Have you reason to be angry over the plant? I have reason to be angry, Jonah answered, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, You are concerned over the plant, which cost you no labor, and which you did not raise. It came up in one night, and in one night it perished. And should I not be concerned over Nineveh, the great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons who cannot distinguish their right hand from their left, not to mention the many cattle? The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my pleading. 
Lord, you are merciful and gracious. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You have received a spirit of adoption as a son, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. And do not subject us to the final test. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the things that is very, very clear in our Catholic faith and something that we talk about and celebrate very often is just how much God loves to work through his, his creation, to work through those who he have put on the earth. In the gospel reading, we just heard one of the most important things to do, and in fact we say this every time we say the Our Father, is to pray that God's kingdom be done. That, it, that his kingdom come here to earth, that his will be done. That what God wants for earth, what God wants for all of us, for each and every one of us, is something that we should always pray for. Because obviously God knows what's best for us. God knows what's best for the world. And yet always, or at least almost always, God completes his will, God does what he wants to do on earth through other people. Very rarely does he directly himself intervene and act and do something. Occasionally he does. We call those miracles. But for the most part, when he wants something done on earth, he works through someone that he put on earth. And so we know that we can pray for each other because God might reach out to someone to heal someone, to help someone through our prayers. When God wanted to bring all of the people of Mexico, and in fact much of South America, to come to know his son Jesus Christ, he sent his mother, Mary, to Guadalupe, or to Mexico City, as the Virgin of Guadalupe. And through her, many, many, many people from there came to know Jesus. When God wanted Ireland that island north of Europe to come to know Jesus, he sent a man named Patrick. St. Patrick who went and brought Jesus to the Irish people so that through him God's will could be done and the church could be established there. And today we celebrate St. Denis because when God wanted the people of France to know about him so that the church could make its way to the French people, he sent St. Denis or as they would say, Saint-Denis. And St. Denis himself came to France, spread the word of God, and then ultimately, as you can see, because I'm wearing red, he was killed, he was martyred. And by the witness, by the example of what he did, those people there, the people who became the French nation, found their own relationship with God and Jesus Christ. So on this day, we thank God for St. Denis, but really, we thank God for trusting us enough and for loving us enough to be pleased to work through us, to create us so that he can work through us, to reach out to others, to do whatever it is that he's called us to do. 
to help the poor, to help a friend in need, to show each other how much God loves us by our own love and friendship with one another. Because every time God works through us, we ourselves also get to grow closer to God. It's a wonderful cycle. It's the cycle of the saints, and it's what we believe in this church. And so let us thank our Heavenly Father for all that he has done for us and all that he will do through us. Let us now turn to our Heavenly Father and on behalf of one another intercede through our petitions. For those ordained to serve the church, that they will tirelessly lead and encourage God's people to greater discipleship, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and its leaders, that promoting the common good of all, especially the poor, will take precedence over strife and discord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all victims of the world's ways of violence, oppression, exclusion and exploitation, especially for families and children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this Eucharistic community, that we might always bear witness to God's ways of love, forgiveness, and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and suffering, especially infant James Meyer, Dick Bowling, Lisa Walker, and Diane Swayze, and for their families and caregivers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, that as faithful servants who have done their duty, they may be welcomed into the company of the saints in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And at this Mass, we pray in a special way for Francisca Nozares, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these our prayers, and if they be your will, to grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Dennis, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom.
<clears throat> Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from the sacrifice of St. Denis and his companions, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord.